Hello, welcome back to another video tutorial from Jack's Tech Corner. Thanks to everybody that's been subscribing. That's really great. I mean, uh, we're not setting any records, but I'm glad that you're jumping on board. And the main part of these tutorials is helping people like you. Um, those of you who have subscribed to the channel and um, you're excited about Photoshop Element 6 as I am. Today I thought we would show you a, a down, I, I call it the down and dirty way to create a collage. A collage is just basically um, multiple pictures kind of joined together in a unique fashion. So what I'm going to do is, this is a recent track meet that I was at, um, doing some uh, shooting of the uh, and photography work of the of the uh, teams running the track. So I thought I would use some of these pictures just because I have some really nice sequences uh, going on here. And I did this just with the continuous uh, shutter on my camera. We're going to use the girl who is throwing the javelin. What we're going to do is select your first picture you want in the collage and then go down and you can hold the shift key down and select the last picture you want in the collage. So we're just going to use these three pictures right here just to make it quick and simple and you'll get the idea. You can use more but you'll start running tight on space. So you know pick out the shots you want to put together to have these printed and I find these look good as a 8x10 even better as an 11x14 hanging on your wall. They look really great. Great conversation piece. Once you have the three highlighted, just simply right click and let's go ahead and go into our full editor. Now we're going to open these up in the full editor so we can begin working on them. And what you're going to find is all three of these pictures will open up in the editor at the same time. There's our first one. There's our second one with the girl throwing the javelin and then here's our third one and this is the one with the with the follow-through so she's completed the javelin is is totally uh, in the air at this time and she's um, at her ending position so i thought it would be kind of cool if we take this down this is going to actually be picture number three this will be actually picture number two with the javelin flying up in the air and the girl getting prepared to throw the javelin that's going to be number one that's going to be our base picture, our background. So why don't we go ahead first of all, let's duplicate that image. Now this time you noticed I didn't go up and hit view, fit on screen, because we're going to be working with each image. So it's, it kind of makes it tight when you do that. What we're going to do now is we're going to take the second picture. Well, before we do that, hold on one second. What I want to do first is I'm going to take this picture and I want to put a, a, a gradient on here. But it's going to be a transparent gradient because we're going to cover up the coach here a little bit. So we have some room to work with down here. This will be her first shot. Now we'll put the second shot here and her finishing shot over here in this corner. To do that, all we need to do is, background, is copy this background. All right, because that's the picture we're going to use. Let's click on this create a new layer, the pull down menu, the adjustment layer. Okay, and we're going to do gradient. At that point, you could use any color you want here. I've been playing with this red. But when you see this, you see how it has a transparency over here? That transparent background right here, you can see we can adjust these sliders, red in, red out, more transparent, more not. And we can change the colors just simply by clicking down here to change the colors. But we're going to use red and transparent. Now with this up, look at this. This is really cool. I can click my mouse on here and I can actually pull this transparency down. See how I'm kind of setting it to the way I want it to look? I can even adjust the angle a little bit if I want. I can throw it to the side, but we do want it on the bottom. Just like that. We're going to pull it up a little bit more. Too much. Pull it down a little bit. And the reason I chose red is it's, it's the team's color, so I wanted to use red down here. Okay, so we filled that in a little bit with red, and we have a transparent background. So click OK. That's finished up. Next, we're going to take this second picture, and we're going to go ahead and move it onto the first picture. We're going to create a new layer here in our palette with it. So all you got to do is simply click on it and drag it up, and then just leave it go. At that point, you can see now the girl's throwing the, 
the javelin up in the air. But it's a little big. It's covering up our other picture. So we have to fix that. So let's go up here to Image. We're going to Resize. And we're going to Scale. This will put the little handlebars on here so we can actually hold the Shift key down. And we're going to scale this back. I hold the Shift key down because it kind of keeps it into some kind of a, a perspective. Um, and it doesn't try to shrink it on you too much. But if it does, you can always work with it. You can shrink it that way. You can pull it down a little bit. See how you're starting to make her too tall? Hold the Shift key down when you're moving. Then that way it kind of keeps it a little nicer. We're going to drop it right down here. Once you get that in the position, just simply click OK. And that's going to actually leave that right there as a new image. Next, we're going to go down to our final image that we want over here. Click on that image. Let's go ahead and duplicate the layer. And we're going to just drag this image right up the same way and drop it on top of here. And I found when you duplicate the image, it makes it a better size to start. If not, it makes it the full size. It makes it a little harder to work with. Once you get that done, you can close these images down here. We're done with these. We don't want to save any changes. You don't want to save the layers down here. We don't want to save this one. You can get rid of that. Click on this again. Go up to Image. Let's go down once again to Resize. Scale. Once again, hold your Shift key down and pull it back. Pull it over so we can see what size we got. Let's try it again. Pull it back a little bit more. Once we have that done, pull it down. You sit it wherever you want to sit it at. But now we have a sequence of events. Looks really cool. She's throwing it. It's in the air. And she's followed through. All on one picture. With a little bit of a red background. Now what's really nice is, if you click on this background, see it says background copy. And it shows you where the picture is, so we're working with this one right now. We're going to drag over a bevel. Throw a little bevel on there. Same thing with this one. Click on this one, throw a little bevel on that one. It just raises it up, gives it a little shadow. Now what we want to do is if you click on this one again, and double click our layer styles, open that up. Remember, we've done this before, right? Everybody understands this now. Go down to stroke. We can add a little stroke color on the back of it. You can even change this if you want to set it off into red. Maybe make it a little yellow. You can see now it has a little yellow on there. It kind of blends in with that uh, gel. It's kind of neat looking, I think. Do whatever you want to with these folks. There's no set way of doing it. The only thing I say is make sure the stroke color or the stroke pixel, see how it says 13? Make sure you remember that because when you go to this one, you go to the second one here, and we're going to get this up in just a second. Double click the uh, styles again. When we add our stroke here, we want to make sure it's 13, and we're going to use that same color. Now we have the same color on there. And that's the main goals I was looking to do. I got a little drop background here. It's yellow. Little background's beveled up off the page a little bit. Still yet, if you want to move these around, remember, you can still move these a little bit. They're not attached to anything. These are layers, and layers we know are separate and kind of unique from every other thing. You can have her coach looking on there. Something like this. It's nice. It would be a nice picture for the kids to uh, hold on to for, for future references and to uh, hang on their wall. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial of how to make a collage. Like I said, this is my down and dirty way of collaging. There's... A lot of other things we can play with using the cookie cutter and we can uh, play around and even create a whole new background and just put a bunch of pictures together. Maybe we'll do that next time. Well, thanks for joining in. Once again, I'm your host, Jack, and I'll see you back here next time. Please spread the word on some uh, different forms out there if there's any Photoshop forms. Spread the word about these uh, YouTube videos and let's try to get more subscribers. And thanks for commenting on the videos. Well, I'll see you back here soon. Have a great day. I'll talk to you later.